from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey with your latest headlines. This morning, we're getting a look at video showing the final moments of a police chase in Indianapolis. It's a story we first brought you yesterday on Good Morning Indiana. The video is provided by Isabel Street Tacos. It shows the moment a Jeep was backed in by Metro Police officers. Investigators say the Jeep was part of a chase that ended in a crash at the intersection of South State Avenue and East Minnesota Street that sent two people to the hospital. The video shows IMPD officers stepping out of their patrol cars and pointing what looks like a gun towards the Jeep and the suspect. WRTV has learned that the suspect has a long criminal history, including multiple felonies. IMPD says that pursuit began after officers responded to a report of a domestic disturbance on Thaddeus Street. A couple was injured in the collision after their vehicle was struck. This tax season, the Better Business Bureau is warning you about a popular new scam that's going around. Experts say the top concern is phishing scams in which the scammer sends you an email or a text claiming to be from the IRS. BBB says the scammers will usually pressure you to act quickly and to give up personal information. So the best way to protect yourself is to file early and to delete any emails and texts that claim to be from the IRS. Now look at our forecast on this Storm Team Alert Day, Todd. All right, a lot going on. It's been a very wet day as we go forward in this forecast. Forecast. We're going to add the wintry element. Winter storm warnings here for Peru as well as Lafayette. Winter weather advisories Crawfordsville, Kokomo into the Marion area. The colder air will work in. Rain continues to fall for most of the day and could be heavy at times for most of us until this evening. And that's when the transition over to snow will take place as temperatures drop down uh, into uh, the 20s. So refreezing will be an issue as well as we head into tomorrow morning. As far as the snowfall potential goes, could see about two to three inches, maybe four inches in far northern locations in the metro area, maybe a coating with a little bit of an icy mix and then to the south, not much at all, but even a little coating could cause some slick conditions. So use caution later on today.